Welcome to LNP Renewable System Editor. Today we are going to discuss about the ship automation basics. Okay, part two of twenty-two. If you have missed out part one, no issue. Please subscribe to our channel. In our channel, we had created a playlist ship automation basics English part one to twenty-two. So in that, if you access that playlist, you can able to see all the missed out parts in it. Okay. So what are the things that we are going to discuss in the part two? So we are focusing mainly on the control elements. Okay. So, uh, well, apart from it, so we may have a question. So, apart from it, what are the answers that we will get when we try to uh, look into these parts? Most importantly, they are going to study about what are the contact symbols which are used in the diagram, okay? And what are the electrical diagram symbols, okay? And what are the different switch symbols? And what are the different coil symbols? And what are the different relay symbols? And what are the different circuit breaker abbreviations, okay? So, as we told earlier, in our discussions, in our abbreviations, Okay, in our drawings, um, we might be using so many symbols, so many short forms, so many abbreviations in our discussion. So, if you have any sort of doubt regarding the instrumentation for measurement and indication abbreviations, you can refer to this circuit breakers, you can refer to this uh, or interrupters, releases, generators, consumers, transformers, connections, fuses and the circuit breakers, okay, production and the monitoring relays, switches, relays, contactors, Okay, units, uh, diverse, if you have any sort of doubts, you can refer this part of the video. So, what are the elements of control circuit? Okay, it is included in all the equipment and devices. Okay, it is mainly concerned with the circuit function, especially the enclosures, okay, conductors, relays, contactors, pilot devices and, and the protection devices. So if you get into the contact symbols, the most basic symbol is the NO contact and NC contact. That is normally open contact and the normally closed contact. So mostly for the emergency condition, we might be using this NC contact. Okay. And for the normal operation, same like a switching operation. So the uh, circuit will be open. Okay. When the electric coils are energized, so immediately uh, the contact will change its position from open to close so that it makes a continuity and the circuit is a closed circuit. Okay, so we might be using this NO and NC contact for all most of the all mostly for uh, most of the all the control circuits we might be using it. This is an example we have given here how we are representing a electrical diagram symbols in a direct online motor starter diagram as you can see we have we might be using so many equipments in this drawing we have a motor here we have a conductor here we have a fuses here okay we have a transformer here okay uh, so, so like this uh, and we have a push button switches okay. we have a contactors like this we, we we are using so many different symbols in a single electrical diagram okay this is a pretty best example to know about uh, how we are using, how we had implemented different symbols in a single diagram. Okay. So when we get into the switch symbols, okay, similar to the contact symbols, okay, in order to identify the switch, okay, it can be open power or that can be closed path of symbol. Okay, we are representing it. We have so many different varieties of switch symbols. We have a limit switch, we have a separate symbols. For smooth switches, we have a symbol. And for pressure switches, we have a symbol. For the level switches, we have a symbol. For the temperature actuated switches, we have a symbol. For slow uh, flow switches, we have a symbol. And for the selector switches, we have a symbol. So as you can see, we had given an example on the right hand side. Okay, the first diagram A, which represents the push button switches. Okay, and the diagram B, which represents the momentary and the maintained one. Okay, when we get into the coil symbols, mostly, we used to represent the coil with either KM or K, okay, followed by any numerical numbers, okay. Mostly, uh, what sort of uh, equipments will come into the coil category? Whatever equipment which are operating with the electromagnetic process, those comes under the category of coil symbols. Example, starters, relays and conductors mostly come in the coil symbols, okay. Next, we have a symbol for overload relay also. Okay, in the overload relay, okay, we need to be very much clear, we need to mention, okay, uh, on what means it will get overloaded, okay, so what will happen, okay, the relay will open and disconnect from the power source when too high current flows in the circuit, okay, that is, the, that is an important function of this thermal overload relay symbol, okay, next, this is an example of different relay logical functions which are represented in a circuit diagram. Next, as we told earlier, 
in our discussions in our control units we will be using so many short forms and short names so if you have any sort of doubts you can refer to this we have a symbol to represent alternating current okay we have an abbreviation to represent the alternating current we have an abbreviation to represent a switch and we have an abbreviation to represent the uh, double pole switch double pole double throw switch double pole single uh, single throw switch like that term for each and everything okay we have a abbreviations even for mentioning the positive side we are mentioning the primary side for resistors for solenoid valves on the secondary side for the manual motor neutral symbol okay we have so many abbreviations we are using so if you have any sort of doubts if you had a plan to design electrical drawing on your own for your plan or you can have an example of um, equipment and you try to represent them in an electrical diagram by using these references Thank you so much. Please subscribe and press the like. And if you want to know more and learn more, you can contact us. We have provided the contact details here. We are providing PLC programming training for Siemens, Allen Broadly, and Delta PLCs. Okay. If you are really interested to work in the automation industry, especially building automation industry, building automation control system industry, and even in marine, if you are planning to work in the ship automation also, you can contact us. We are providing those training. Okay. With the crystal clear examples. Okay, and next, importantly, if you had a plan to establish a solar DC light system in a place where the EV power is not available, then you can contact us. And if you had a agriculture farm, you want to protect your uh, crops from the animals instead of going for electric fencing, then you can use a solar fencing also. We are also providing solar on grid, off grid, hybrid, solar street light, solar pump services. Design, installation, testing, and commission, consultancy, and training supports. If you had a plan to know the basics of access control system, ship automation, electrical vehicle basics, then you can contact us. We have provided the contact details here. Thank you so much.